to install the virtual box on Mac OS High Sierra virtual box 5.2 get the extension pack what we need to have is window 10 or window 8.1 the serial number of your computer the license number install window 8.1 since I this laptop come with a window 8.1 so first we need to install it Okay, so after we install the virtual box, we're going to set it up. So there's two things we need to do right away is to install this extension pack. Okay, so that's the first one. So now I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to install Windows 8. Then you export mode. We can use a uh, two meg for now. Uh, we can do four meg. So four meg is four zero nine six. Virtual box this image. So what I want to do is to use sixty gig. So let's go to setting. System. We want to do the network also. And leave everything. Processor, we want two. Acceleration. Let's go to the display. I don't know, we need to use uh, 2D acceleration because okay, we're not going to use a lot of these. So we have an empty one. This one is a CD. So the CD, what we want to do is to put to mount with Windows 8. And we should have the desktop and Windows 8.1. Okay. And then go to audio network so what we want to do is to breach the network to in and one the Wi-Fi that's good port we want to en enable the USB 3.0 that's good so now we can start So it's on install window, but this one we do need the uh, product ID because of window 8.1. So after we enter the uh, product number, we can use uh, advanced, and they're gonna use a 60 gig. Okay. So now it's going to do, uh, it's going to do installation. Just leave it. So we need to turn on window feature so we can install Net 3.5. So we want to turn on this one. So that one we can install the Elsa Win. So it's going to download everything. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to make file sharing between the Mac and the Windows. Let's go to setting, optical drive. So we're going to choose the disk image so the disk image that we want is actually so we should get it from 
the application. So we're going to go to apps. And we'll go to virtual box. Show package content. Contents. And we'll go to my OS. And in here, we should find VBox Guest Edition. Okay? So this is what we want. Copy. And we're going to paste in here. Okay. So now we had a 5.2. So now we're going to do it again. Device, optical drive. And we're going to choose this one. Yes. So now. So after reboot, we're going to go to share folder and do the share folder setting. Add other and we're going to share the desktop. So everything we put on the desktop is going to be there. So I'm going to stretch this one out and it will feel it. Okay. So let's look in here. We should see. It's going to share a folder. We should see it. You can run a program. So this one is uh, the VCDS. Okay, so now we're going to use the um, virtual box to connect the VCDS. So first we need to do is plug the VCDS into one of the USB port. And what we want to do is to go to device and USB setting. Okay. So remember which port we plug it in so we can add. So, see Ross text right here? That's the original one. So I'm going to plug it in there. Okay, so click OK. So now, after you add it, you have to unplug it and plug it back in. So it will detect. See that? So each port they have different ones, so make sure. So now we can configure this one. So I will use the lower version because it's still working, so I don't want to go to a new one. So let's go, well, I'm sure now it's like 17, 18, 19 or whatever. So we're going to test and make sure that our USB is working. 
So it is the original one that should work. See that? But it's not plugged into the car. That's okay. So it's working. So now we're going to save it. So that's how you use with the uh, Mac OS High Sierra.